Mark No Free Head Coaches Show. After a victorious week one for the Sacred Heart Pioneers, we are with the head coach, Mark No Free, and a 37-21 victory over Marist on opening night. A couple of wrinkles in there, a lightning delay for more than an hour, but at the end of the night, you got it done offensively and defensively. And let's talk about offensively first with a no-huddle offense and R.J. Noel throwing for more than 200 yards, rushing for more than 100 yards. Looked like he made really good decisions over this uh, new fast-paced offense. What did you see? Yeah, you know, uh, I was real pleased with R.J. Um, obviously, it was his first game playing. Uh, he's a redshirt freshman. Um, the biggest thing that, I, you know, I, I liked about R.J. was his poise and his composure. And uh, the other thing is uh, he's a competitor. You know, the kid worked in the offseason on and off the field. He's worked, stayed here this summer and worked all summer long, and I couldn't be happier for him. And uh, there's something about the kid in terms of, you know, he's, he's a competitive kid. Uh, he's a quiet kid, but then he's got poise, and uh, he ran the offense outstanding. And uh, like I said, anybody that can uh, rush for over 100 and throw for over 200 with no interceptions and two touchdowns, is, to me, is a uh, you know, good, good quarterback what you want running your offense. Nice 46-yard strike to Tyler Doobie at a big moment also. So, again, showing versatility, but also showing that he can go downfield uh, with yep. a big bomb there in a big spot. Yeah, it was. It, uh, it was a big play. It put us up 30-7 to seven at that point, um, which, you know, we were kind of on a, on a roll at that point, and uh, I liked where we were at, but then, you know, we had a little breakdown in our special teams on the kickoff coverage the next play. Um, you know, at that point in the game, it was 30-7, to seven, and we gave up a big play in the kick return. But, uh, like I said, they overcame it. Uh, they get into a rhythm on offense, and uh, you know, Coach Bowles has them going in the right direction at a fast pace, and uh, it's great. It's great to see him. It's great to see a kid like that that's worked hard for a year, set out his freshman year, redshirt, and then come in for his first game this year and do such a great job for us. Now that delay, an hour and four <clears throat> minutes, it's not often that you have to deal with weather delays in the game of football. So what did you guys do to stay focused during that time? Uh, you know, Billy was asking me too after the game on Saturday, and uh, I think it was an hour and 50, 20 minutes. And uh, you, you kind of get them, you know, positionally or offensively and defensively. You talk about some adjustments because it was only 3.39 left before the half, so we didn't know if there was going to be a halftime or not. Um, you, you meet offensively, defensively. You go over some adjustments like you would at halftime. Uh, we had a bunch of fruit. Uh, for the kids and hydrate and uh, keep them stretched. You know, keep them warm, keep them as best you could when you had an hour and 20 minute you know delay. Uh, but we were spread out in a gym. It was cooler in there. Uh, like I said, the kids were stretching. They were meeting with their position coaches and uh, the coordinators and just kind of stay focused and get ready to go when you get back out there. Well, defensively, I mean, you only gave up seven points until into the fourth quarter. The final score was 37-21, but it was 37 to seven into that fourth quarter. And a great deal uh, of that had to do with your defense. Read you some numbers quickly. Four sacks, three turnovers, and seven, uh, three tackles for a loss. For Gordon Hill, three tackles for a loss. But as a unit, you guys kept pushing them back all night. So I guess you got it done on the defensive line. What did you see? Yeah, you know, our defense was playing fast, uh, fast and physical. And, uh, you know, we had some kids that have been on the field now for us for two years, been playing since their freshman year and uh, they're juniors this year and uh, you know they, they know where they got to be and they know the scheme and what we're trying to do and uh, you know they've worked hard extremely hard as well and they're a great bunch of kids and basically if you're in the right spot and you're playing fast and physical and downhill you got a fighting chance and, and, they, and they did and they executed as well you know the defensive line was uh, was a great we had a great night with four sacks I'll take that anytime yeah. you know we talk about uh, goals each week as a team, and one of the goals is, you know, to create big plays, which we did with RJ and Tyler, uh, and eliminate the big plays, which we did on defense. We didn't have any big plays, and then three turnovers. You know, we want a minimum of three each week, and those are some of the goals that we talk about each week as a team, and we hit on all those goals. And turnovers at in big spots too on the Marist one yard yeah, line, that which really... led to a touchdown by Kashadas, which was outstanding. Gordon Hill, I do want to focus on him for seven tackles, a sack, three tackles for a loss, a forced fumble. And how about three pass breakups as well? So all over the field, uh, what got into him for Saturday um, night? Well, again, he's been, you know, you look at it, you go back and look at his freshman year, he took the most amount of snaps of anybody on our defense his freshman year. Uh, I think he had like 700 snaps that year. So, you know, he's been on the field his freshman year, all last year as a sophomore. The kid stayed up here this summer, and another one that just worked in the off season. Great kid. He's in watching film in the off season. He's watching film during the week uh, when he's not with us. Uh, he did a great job in the weight room. He spent time here this summer, and you know he's a he's a very good athlete, a very good football player that can play a lot of different positions. 
defensively, we you know he is our strong safety, but we do move him around in different packages. And uh, he's a football player, you know, and, and I'm glad he's with us. And uh, he's only a junior. We got another year with him. So if he p keeps progressing, I, I see great things for him here at Sacred Heart. All right, we're moving forward now, one and zero, and you go into Lafayette back on the road against a Patriot League opponent uh, that. Um, you were only meeting for the second time ever. It goes back to 2006, the last time you faced them. So not a lot of familiarity there. What do you know about them, and what are you working on this week to try to make it 2-0 after um, Saturday night? You know, obviously Lafayette's got great tradition, great history. You know, they've had football for a long time, over 100 years, and uh, they've been to the playoffs. Um, they're a good Patriot League 1AA football team with a lot of history, and uh you know, they're going to be tough. I mean, they're, you know, you're playing a Patriot League school with a lot of tradition, been to the playoffs. They, uh, you know, they're good. They have some good players on that team. I think they got five kids that were picked preseason all Patriot League. Um, it's going to be a challenge for us. Uh, like I said, we played them back in 2006. Uh, we played Holy Cross a couple times, we played Georgetown, we played Colgate, and uh, that's a good football league, if you ask me. And, you know, our kids should be ready to go. Uh, you know, one game under their belt. Obviously, you're going to Lafayette, which is a great place to play. Uh, beautiful stadium, beautiful campus, and uh, you're playing one of the better teams in the Patriot League, so I think our kids will be up and ready to go. I mean, how could you not when you're playing a team like that? Very good. Well, great job this weekend. Good Thank luck you. next weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. Mark Nofri, head coach of the Pioneers, 1-0, and looking to make it 2-0. and Again, this upcoming Saturday night at 6 o'clock at Lafayette.